Hello, I am Dr. Hussain Iqbal. I am an orthodontist and dentofacial orthopedist. I design smiles. I am working with Cosmodent India, Bangalore, Gurgaon and Delhi. Now, orthodontic treatment is primarily directed towards alignment of teeth. And it's also important to attain a good sense of facial proportionality. So, let's talk about alignment first. For a good alignment, or for a good arrangement of all the teeth in the arches, we need enough space in the arch. And in the absence of enough space, or in the absence of other alternatives of gaining space, the only option that the orthodontist is left with is to remove teeth, tooth extractions. It is unavoidable. And many a times, it's the treatment of choice which may help in the betterment of the stability of a smile. So there are different teeth that are preferred or usually removed to address different kinds of malalignments or mismatching of alignment in the teeth. The favorite tooth, if I may call it, for the orthodontists is the first premolars. Usually either one or two or all four premolars are removed. It can be that a couple of premolars are removed, maybe in the upper arch, both the premolars, or there may be three premolars that are removed, asymmetric extractions, odd number of extractions, or there can be a condition where all four first premolars are to be removed. There may be situations where the second premolars are preferred. There may be situations where the molars are to be removed. So there are different teeth which are to be removed in different criteria based on the severity of the problem and based on the kind of a treatment that needs to be provided to the patient. There might be a situation where unerupted or impacted teeth that are unfavorably impacted, they might have to be removed. So that, that is also one kind of an orthodontic extraction. There might be a situation where a root canal treated teeth, which is a compromised tooth in itself, needs to be removed. So instead of removing a healthy tooth, we prefer removing teeth that are compromised or decayed or carious or impacted so that the sacrifice of a healthy teeth can be done away with. The second aspect of orthodontics is to treat the facial aspects, to attain a good facial symmetry, good uh, facial profile, a sense of uh, facial proportionality. And in the quest of achieving that, dental extractions may be required. Like for example, if the skeletal bases, the upper and the lower jaw, they are not set in the right position, maybe the upper jaw is ahead of the lower jaw, or maybe if the lower jaw is ahead of the upper jaw. In those cases also, to treat the skeletal problems dentally, that means to mask the skeletal condition in a dental way, we might have to remove a few teeth so that the situation can be camouflaged. We call it dental camouflage of a skeletal issue or a skeletal problem. With the help of dental camouflage, we can avoid invasive dental surgeries, orthognathic surgeries. They can be avoided completely. If the error between the skeletal system or the discrepancy is not so severe, so camouflage is a good option where the teeth can be sacrificed, extracted and a major surgery can be avoided. This also helps in improving the facial profile and the facial structures. But having said all this, it's not necessary that always would one require tooth extractions for orthodontic treatment. Orthodontic treatment can be definitely done without having to sacrifice any teeth, that is non-extraction. In cases of minor malalignment or minor space issues where there is some kind of a crowding but not so much, then such conditions can be dealt with without having to remove teeth at the same time without having to sacrifice any part of the tooth. We just need to flare the teeth slightly outside to create space and settle all the teeth in a nice arch form. Also what can be done is in cases of moderate crowding when it is not so less and when it is not so severe. A procedure called IPR, interproximal reduction, that is usually preferred. 
uh, it's also called slicing or disking where you very carefully a thin layer of a tooth is filed around 0.1 or 0.2 or 0.3 mm that is almost 30% of a millimeter that much is filed and you attain a good amount of space resolvement with the help of this kind of a technique so it's not always that an orthodontic tooth extraction is required but there are cases where a tooth extraction is required in orthodontics and that leads to a good amount of stability generalized stability and a long term retention